from the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. It was no competition last time these teams met in Champaign. Indiana beat Illinois by 15 just a few weeks ago. And this time, Illinois was down its leading scorer, Terrence Shannon Jr., after suffering a concussion. So R.J. Melendez gets the start at Simon Scott Assembly Hall. Early on, Jaden Epps nailing the three as the Illini come out firing without their leading scorer. Potential player of the year, though, Trace Jackson Davis gets the and one to go. He had over 30 when they played in Champaign. Back-to-back -back threes by Matthew Meyer gives the Illini the lead midway through the first half to silence the other assembly hall. Luke Goody working on the glass here as he's starting to see his minutes increase the rebound and bucket back in his home state. Coleman Hawkins now in transition. The posterizing slam dunk, but he gets whistled for a technical for screaming after the play. Big play in the game leads to a 7-0 run for the Hoosiers going the other way. Illinois still up by three at the half, though, coming out of the break. Matthew Meyer now into the lane, throws down a dunk of his own. It's a biggest lead for the Illini, nine at that point. But here comes Indiana, TJD, reverse layup there to tie it up. Timeout, Illinois. It was a 10-4 run for the Hoosiers at that point. Illini still in front, though. Hawkins gets the steal here in transition, throws that one down with two hands. The Illini have the lead five minutes to go. They kept it tied the whole time with free throws on the Indiana run, but a Jalen hood Shafino bucket makes it a tie game. Next possession, for Indiana. They get that bucket to go after some free throws to go up three. Time winding down, only five seconds to go for Illinois as RJ Melendez will get the last second shot as time expires and it's no good. Indiana wins this one by three as the Illini fall in heartbreaking fashion. 71-68 the final in this one. Illinois led from that midway point in the first half all the way to 30 seconds left in the game. They now fall to 8-7 and seven in conference. WCIA 3's Brett Behrens has more from Bloomington. In his first start since December, R.J. Melendez had a chance to send the game to overtime. But his open three bounced out, and for the first time this season, the Illini have lost back-to-back -back games. I ex sat exactly on the bench overtime as soon as he let it go. I knew he was going to make that one, and I got all the confidence in the world in R.J. I'm, a, I'm the biggest R.J. Melendez believer of all time. It has been a rough year for the sophomore who scored just two points, missing all six shots he took. But the toughest break for the Illini came pregame. Terrence Shannon Jr., the team's leading scorer, did not make the trip here to Bloomington. He went into concussion protocol after Tuesday's loss at Penn State. Despite his absence, Illinois still gave itself a chance. Uh, losing a scorer like that, you know, one of the best shooting guards in the country, um, it's going to be tough. But, you know, we knew that going ahead. So, like I said, you know, we game plan for it. I thought we did a good job. Um, but, like, Terrence is an amazing player. I mean, he does such a good job in transition. I mean, he does such a good job in so many aspects of the game, so we're definitely missing him today. Matthew Meyer stepped up with a team-high 24, including four first-half threes, but Trace Jackson Davis hurt the Illini once again with a game-high 26. Despite the loss, Illini head coach Brad Underwood leaves encouraged. I don't know if um, proud's the right word, excited elated, but I'm a much bigger believer in our team right now than I have been at any point this season. Underwood praised his team's toughness afterwards despite having multiple guys sick, saying strep throat is going around the team. They'll have to regroup quick with Minnesota coming to town Monday, part of a four-game, nine-day stretch. Reporting in Bloomington, for your Alina Nation, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. Thanks, Brett. For more from Brad Underwood, you can watch his full post-game press conference on our website, yourlinanation.com. That's all for sports. Coming up, we'll have another look at your seven-day forecast.